their side of their back up here. So I'm gonna shave a section in a square back here right where we want the brand just to get it as close to the skin as we can. Once we got our square where we want it, we're gonna shave against the hair grain to get any of those little short hairs off. Just so again, we get as close as we can to skin contact. After we're done, we blow that off so that they don't have any of that hair left on there. So in this bottle, we got our alcohol and we're gonna soak the area. The back two first. So we don't want it running off, but we're gonna just soak the area right where we're going. This is Cal 032, so we're gonna do the last two numbers first, and then we'll do the zero at the beginning. So I got my three and my two. I'm gonna hold these for 55 seconds. And I'm moving them back and forth just in a little, little small circle. If they move a little bit, we can go ahead and reposition. We'll just line it back up right where they were tell where it is move them in little circles just so that it maintains good contact with the skin and all edges get covered I'm going to 55 seconds on this too short and we won't get the hair white it will just come back in the same color as the cow uh, if we hold it too long it'll be more like a a heat brand and nothing will grow in it. So we, that 55 seconds is about the sweet spot with dry ice to where this, the hair will grow back in white. Four fifty-five. All right, so if you look close at this, where we held the irons is an indented spot and it's swollen up on the sides and that's actually hard to the touch right now. So that will, that swelling will go down here in a couple minutes and you won't hardly see it. And then it will start to swell up in a bigger area around the number. And then that will go away after about a week. And you won't see anything till the white hair starts coming back after a scab in probably 20 to 30 days. So for this last one, spray it down again. Just kind of get it wet right where the number's going. This is gonna be a zero this time. We got our zero iron. And 55 seconds. Now the mixture that we're using today is dry ice and gasoline. I've used 99% isopropyl alcohol before, but it's expensive and a little hard to find nowadays. So gasoline actually works pretty well and it doesn't absorb the water that isopropyl alcohol will do if you're doing a lot of branding in one day. And we'll call that good. Here's what we've been keeping our irons in. Just an old cooler that we've got our dry ice broken up. And we put our gasoline in there. That gasoline evaporates and causes that to get extra cold. We keep adding a little bit of gasoline all the time just to make sure those irons stay nice and cold. I believe the temperature is supposed to be around negative 200 degrees. And we'll unsqueeze this one. We'll put the new tag in this cap. Okay, so we'll cut the tag out of the old one. These are the calf tags, so 434. Make our mark of which one she is. We've got our new tag here, which is 032 that we just freeze branded. Go in the old one here. she's ready to turn out and we will grab the next one.